Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So hello, uh, welcome back. So as uh, I said in the previous class that uh, we will uh, take up uh, the Zeldo which uh, Frank Kamenevsky analysis in this uh, class. Uh, it is uh, basically a derivation. I do not want to show it on slides, I want to do the derivation for you and uh, so please pay attention. Uh, this derivation there are two purposes. Uh, the first purpose is that we will once again consider this uh, laminar premix, laminar planar laminar premix flame uh, that is. Uh, stabilized at uh, x equal to 0 in a doubly infinite domain that is x goes in the left hand side x goes up to minus infinity on the right hand side x goes up to plus infinity and of course it is a laminar flame and there are no uh, and uh, uh, it is in a uh, the flow is uniform and there is no uh, uh, no non uniformity in the flow. So, there is no stretch on the on the flame also ok. So, this is the Zeldo which uh, analysis that we will do ok. So, uh, so once again this is our uh, structure of the flame x equal to 0 that is the end of your reaction zone or so we will draw the reactions on later. So, your temperature varies like this. It is not linear because of uh, the presence of both conduction, convection and diffusion. This is T B 0 which is the adiabatic flame temperature. Of course, there is no heat loss and we will call this as x ig that is this temperature and this temperature to be essentially t ig ok. And from this x ig to this part is essentially minus we will call this minus we will call x greater than 0 to be plus. So, x less than x ig will refer, refer we will refer it with this uh, superscript minus anything greater than x 0 we will refer it with plus and this inner part we will refer it as inner layer in. Okay. Similarly, there will be a species profile ok. This is y u, this is t u ok. And if you normalize y u tilde is equal to 1 and this is t u tilde. So, everything can be normalized like this x equal also can be normalized. So, this uh, if you remember the equations we started with were the, this way f 0 convective term minus diffusion term w is essentially the, the species consumption rate and the diffusion and the species equation convection term minus diffusion term this is not omega this is w.
all right now when we normalize it by saying t tilde is equal to c p t by q c y u we normalize by y tilde is equal to y by y u and x tilde is equal to x by L d 0 which is L d 0 is the diffusion zone thickness lambda by C p by f 0. This implies x tilde is equal to your x divided by lambda by C p 0. Okay. Now, then if you normalize these things, the thing equations that you will get are it much cleaner. So, the pay normalization is what the pain and it becomes much cleaner in the sense that you clearly see this is a diffusion term, this is a convection term and that is given by minus d s e 0 y tilde and then you normalize the diffusion equation species diffusion equation and you add it to the normalized uh, temperature equation and you will get Okay. So, once again remember we are just considering the diffusion species diffusion species equation for the deficient species uh, because we uh, then the other that is the abundant species can be assumed to be constant and that is why in the reaction rate only the deficient species come in all right. So, uh, now with this uh, we can proceed and uh, first we what we will do is that we will integrate this equation in the in three different zones. Okay. We will integrate the equation in this minus zone we will integrate the equation in the plus zone and we will integrate these equations in the inner zone. And then we will see uh, we there is one problem that we have to face is that um, this temperature equation while integration it cannot be integrated directly because uh, when you integrate in the inner zone where this reaction rate is dominant then you have to tackle basically this uh, y tilde. Okay. So, how do you tackle y tilde? So, something has to emerge from this other equation that is a coupling function equation. So, that you can write this temperature equation in a purely temperature form. So, we get have to get rid of the y tilde in some other way. But before that if we integrate across the you know, the minus and this plus you see the most important thing is that we can conveniently set these right hand side in this temperature equation to be 0. Okay. So, that is the advantage because uh, that in this regions in the entire minus. So, from x equal to infinity to my x egg okay, there is no reaction taking place. So, the, as, I, as I said before that that is a consequence of the fact that your activation energy is very large and as a result of the activation energy is large your temperature your reaction is only activated at very high temperature right. So, there is no reaction taking place at uh, in this minus zone there is no reaction taking place at plus zone. So, in these regions if we integrate that is if we integrate between minus infinity x uh, a to uh, x egg tilde. Mm, then your uh, right hand side w is equal to 0. Similarly, if you integrate between x x uh, similar between if you integrate between 0 uh, to x tilde to x plus infinity then also your w is equal to 0 all right. So, if you do that what do you get? What you get is the following that is um, uh, mm, that is if you just integrate up to this boundary. So, we are integrating from x equal to minus infinity ok. 
Okay. So, this is of course equal to 0 because at x equal to minus infinity there is no temperature gradient. So, uh, then this become equation becomes is equal to T tilde minus T u tilde. Now, we see that T tilde is very, very close to your T b 0. So, in many cases we can do the approximation of course, depending on the case we can do the approximation that this is equal to because this difference T e minus T u is so large we can easily replace the error generated by replacing T e with T b 0 is equal to very small. So, we can generate with this and this T b 0 minus T u tilde as we have seen previously uh, when we do the analysis that is equal to 1. Okay. So, just refer to the previous class that uh, your uh, uh, your uh, when we did this integration your uh, this T b 0 minus T u tilde is equal to 1 and that came from this equation. Okay. So, when we just uh, integrate this equation from minus infinity to plus infinity what we got was that this uh, go went out this went out and we got uh, minus T u tilde plus y u tilde which is equal to 1 is equal to on the right hand side once again this went out this went out. So, we got 0 plus 0 minus T b tilde. Okay. So, as a result of that we got T b tilde minus uh, T u tilde is equal to 1. Okay. So, that is the reason. So, now once we have got that we let us uh, store this data let us store this in our memory and we will come back to this uh, uh, soon after. Uh, similarly, on the right hand side if you do uh, this uh, we will just uh, on the right hand side if you do this integration on the right hand side you will find um, integrating d t tilde uh, d x tilde that is there is nothing much to do on the right hand side that is equal to 0. So, that is the only condition that you have and that your t everywhere your t u tilde plus is equal to your t b tilde 0. Okay. So, that is the that is uh, all that you can have on the right hand side that is on the plus side. So, we will just uh, remember this and uh, not we will just uh, store this uh, actually let us write it uh, skip it stored in the previous class in the previous slide. Mm, so, your d t tilde plus d x tilde is equal to 0 and your t tilde plus is equal to is equal to your d b 0 tilde. Okay. So, these are the things uh, that you have. All right. So, now let us uh, focus on the inner zone and this is the most important thing because uh, here you see the uh, this, uh, this is challenging because in the inner zone you have your temperature equation d 2 t tilde uh, you have the temperature equation like this d 2 t tilde d e x s uh, square tilde minus d tilde d x tilde is equal to minus d a c 0 y tilde e to the power of minus t a tilde by t tilde. So, the basic problem is that yes of course, this is challenging because there is a non-linear term e to the power of minus p a t over d a by t, but this is even more challenging because this is uh, you see uh, here this thing has come in right. So, you have a y u tilde that is a different variable. So, we have to solve it in a coupled manner which is very difficult. So, we have to get rid of that sometime. So, for that to get rid of this okay, what we will do is that we will uh, uh, consider this other equation. Uh, that is uh, the that is a coupled equation that is um, d 2 t tilde. So, if you are not uh, if you feel uncomfortable about these equations I suggest you just go back and derive this equation yourself from the one dimensional energy from the simple diffusion control system equations you could derive your one dimensional equation um, you go, go through the derivation once again and then you normalize it yourself and then you come back and uh, do this derivation again. Uh, you can just pause this video right. So, um, so I suggest you before you if you are not comfortable with this equation you should just take a pause and go back to this derivation and then come back and then go through the analysis. Because uh, this uh, to comprehend this whole analysis the uh, derivation is very uh, the, deri the understanding this different terms of this equation is very important and that understanding can only arise if you have de yourself derived this equation all right. So, this is once again the coupled equation that you get d 2 t tilde d x square minus 1 by uh, sorry this is there is a 1 by Lewis number here minus d d x tilde t tilde y tilde is equal to 0. Okay. Now, let us integrate this guy from minus infinity to any point inside x in. Okay. So, what we get is the following that is we get d tilde d t tilde d x tilde in 
okay mm, minus or we will not call it in we will just remove the in and we assume that this t tilde that we get now is essentially anything is mentioned is within this uh, within x egg and x and 0. So, this is only in the reaction zone. So, now we are integrating within the reaction zone. Okay. Of course, this is equal to 0 because at uh, at x equal to minus infinity, this is 0 plus again this is at x equal to minus infinity, this is 0 minus t u tilde plus 1, right. So, this is the thing, this y tilde is equal to 1. Now, at anything between, uh, you see if you remember the flame structure, so now this left hand side is between uh, is between x sig minus x tilde and 0. So, it is basically within this part. Okay. So, what have we got in this part? You have got t tilde y tilde. Now, we can assume that t tilde is essentially compared to the other terms this thing is essentially your t b tilde or we can call it like t in tilde which is essentially close to your t u tilde your t b tilde and this part is essentially your y in and y in is essentially very small compared to the other terms. So, is almost equal to 0 when compared to all these terms okay. and this is equal to t b tilde and T b tilde is equal to T u tilde plus 1. So, essentially you see this goes to 0 and uh, and this this T b tilde is essentially will cancel with this thing. So, all these things essentially cancel out. So, what we are left with is d t tilde d x tilde plus 1 by Lewis number d y tilde d x tilde. But please remember this holds only within the reaction zone, it is not entirely thing, it is not in the any part of the flame, it is only when you have left hand side in the reaction zone we can do this thing. So, it that is why the integration thing is important where we are integrating it from. Okay, so, dt tilde d t tilde d x tilde plus 1 by Lewis number d y tilde d x tilde is equal to 0 and what you get by integrating is essentially now if you integrate this equation from, um, from minus uh, from x ig. Uh, well, so, if you integrate this again uh, actually uh, from uh, say minus infinity to, to, to x ig x in. So, that what we did before we get uh, t tilde plus uh, 1 by Lewis number y tilde y in is equal to your t tilde is a t u tilde okay. plus 1. Okay. So, this t u tilde plus 1 is nothing but t b tilde. So, we get essentially is y in is equal to t b tilde minus is essentially is equal to your Lewis number times t b tilde minus t tilde. Okay. So, uh, as you saw that yeah, we considered here this to be almost equal to 0, but when we considered with respect to the other terms, but in general yeah, this is small because you see inside in this essentially this T b in is T b tilde is almost equal to T in tilde. So, in G y in is very very small, this is itself a small quantity, okay, but itself it is I mean uh, we can by doing this we can estimate how small it is that is the point here. Okay, and it is not 0 because if it was 0 then there would not have been a uh, then, then there would be no right hand side in this temperature equation. So, it is not 0 actually, but it is what we have done here is that we have not considered it 0, we have just considered that this equation this term is essentially smaller than this terms. So, this term is essentially much smaller than this term and this term which is a true assumption. So, then we can write this y in tilde essentially is equal to your uh, Lewis number times T b tilde minus T in tilde. So, this is a very important thing because now if you go back to this uh, um, go back to our uh, uh, um, our uh, uh, if you go back to our uh, our uh, energy equation. Okay. So, uh, what we will get uh, now uh, we can substitute this we have got y tilde in is equal to Lewis number times T b tilde minus T e, uh, t tilde at the inner inner zone T in tilde. Okay. 
So now we can substitute this thing inside our energy equation inside the inner zone. So integrating in the inner region, so everything is all, so only within the inner region. So that must be kept in mind. So this was the equation. We have replaced the in because it is only within the inner zone, it is implied. So, you see now this equation does not have any y. So, now it is exact, uh, it is explicit in t tilde and now we can do much more things with it. So, we can integrate it. Now, one more thing is that you see within the inner zone that uh, now this is basically comes from diffusion. This you, we can understand with this comes from convection and this comes from reaction. Okay. Now, in the preheat zone, we saw it is essentially a balance of your diffusion and convection. And essentially, in the reaction zone, what we can do now is that because the temperature gradient is so steep, uh, we can consider only the higher order temperature gradients. Actually, the first order temperature gradient is not so steep here as you can see from this. Okay. So, but the second order temperature gradient is large. So, and this can be shown by integration also that if you just do the integration, you will see that uh, this will give you the d t uh, plus uh, d x tilde uh, minus d t uh, ig. Uh, d x tilde plus minus um, uh, this will give you T V 0 tilde minus T tilde and then this will essentially is equal to minus D S E Lewis integral of uh, these things right um, add uh, over D x tilde. So, this is very small because T V T and T V 0 is very small which again suggests that this convection um, the convection process uh, inside the flame uh, inside the inner layer or the reaction zone is very small. Uh, is small only in the in the inner layer okay so that is why we can neglect uh, this uh, this this uh, these things and we will only consider this convection is essentially will be neglected and will only only in the inner layer will only consider the balance between your mm, your diffusion and your uh, and, and the reaction so this part will go to zero we will just uh, neglect it with respect to this term and this term. This part is actually never 0 because uh, uh, of obvious reasons, um, but we will co consider it to be small with respect to this and these things. So, now if you consider that uh, what we get is Okay. So, now uh, this also integration is difficult. So, let us do a small uh, mathematical jugglery and that is this is it right. So, we can write this as is exactly equal to this and then we can put this inside this okay so then we can substitute this whole thing here and what we get is comes from here
Okay, now we are ready for integration. So if we integrate, what we will find is that So this is the equation that we got. If we integrate this between x ig and 0 from here to here, if we integrate, from x sig from t ig tilde ok. Now, if you remember this guy this uh, at uh, uh, not uh, yeah at x equal to 0 this is essentially equal to the right hand side uh, this plus. So, this is essentially equal to uh, by matching conditions your d t tilde d x uh, tilde square at uh, plus which is equal to 0 ok. So, on the plus side. So, essentially we can get rid of this thing this goes to 0, but of course this does not this does not go to 0. So, this goes to 0 and we can write So, from now on we will focus only on the RHS uh, because as we will see that uh, um, uh, because one we can also see that show that this by matching conditions that is uh, uh, by because this slope has to match this slope. So, at x ig what is happening is that the temperature is increasing like this right. So, uh, this is if it is x ig. So, the slope because of the con because of this uh, uh, continuity uh, this uh, and the smoothness this this slope has to match this slope. So, essentially this on the um, this is the inner side and this is the minus side. So, at this point this uh, d t d x uh, um, uh, tilde x ig is equal to your d t tilde d x tilde minus at x ig right uh, and this we obtain to be essentially is equal to 1. So, this is becomes essentially equal to 1 and if you uh, this this came from this fact that if you remember that here d t tilde d x at x is equal to indeed, uh, but this is integrated from the minus sign uh, t b 0 minus t u 0 is equal to 1. So, essentially this is 1. Okay. So, we can we will just focus on this right hand side from now, uh, because the left hand side is equal to minus 1. So, if you just remove the minus sign and put it here, then we will get is essentially uh, this 1 is equal to your minus 2 Lewis number times dam colon number 0 times uh, uh, T b 0 tilde to T ig tilde times T b 0 tilde minus T tilde into the word of minus T a tilde by T tilde d T tilde ok. 
Now, let us consider uh, we will just focus only on this right hand side now. Now, let us introduce another change of variables where tau is equal to T b 0 tilde minus T tilde. Okay? And you see we can also write it as like T b 0 tilde minus T u tilde because this, this guy is equal to 1. Okay? So, that is a good thing about normalization it becomes much simpler. So, essentially then it becomes uh, then this becomes is equal to uh, we will just consider this if we just consider this integral then this becomes um, T b 0 uh, then this is becomes 0 and this uh, T x becomes uh, uh, T b 0 tilde minus T x tilde uh, times tau okay or tau dashed uh, or we will just uh, represent this this guy as uh, tau egg okay or uh, t b z tau dashed minus e to the power of minus t. So, if we substitute this now uh, t tilde is nothing but t b 0 tilde minus tau. So, we can write as exponential of minus t a tilde uh, divided by uh, t b 0 tilde minus tau okay. So, uh, this is the thing d tau uh, dashed tau dash and then we can write uh, if we now uh, bring the exponential downstairs um, actually we can we should write it like in this form okay and then it this becomes if you normalize both sides by T b 0 tilde T b 0 tilde and T b 0 tilde what you get is 0 to tau egg tau dashed exponential of minus Obviously, 1 T b 0 minus tau tilde whereas, this is a small quantity because tau tilde is close to T b 0 tilde. So, tau tilde is definitely much much smaller than T b 0 tilde and then if this is a small quantity we can write this as and this is you see if you recognize this is Arrhenius number. This obtained from the binomial expansion okay. simplified into this is what we can write this is what we had exponential of minus r heinous number d times 1 plus tau and this can be essentially written as exponential of minus Arrhenius number times exponential of minus tau a tilde by t b 0 tilde times times tau by t b 0 tilde. Now, this is 1 of course and we can replace the 1 by t b 0 minus t a okay. and then you see this becomes exponential of minus Arrhenius number times exponential of this whole thing is nothing but Zeldovich number minus Zeldovich number times tau tilde. Okay. So, now if you substitute this full thing in this integral what you get is the whole thing becomes 1 is equal to integral uh, sorry this uh, 2 times Lewis number times Damkula number integral 0 to tau egg. Uh, is essentially equal to tau dashed times exponential of uh, this also can actually go out
No, this is only within the inner layer. Okay, just remember that thing. Okay. So this is the integral that we get. So now, if we integrate this further, what you get is and this integral becomes there is a Zeldovich number square in the downstairs times one minus one plus. Zelda which number times tau e to the power of minus zelda which number tau. Okay, that is the integral. Now, uh, of course, uh, we can uh, say that uh, what you have is uh, now you see that uh, the zelda which number appears on the uh, in the in the numerator uh, of the exponential. Of course, it is multiplied with tau. Mm, so, it is not obvious that it will go to 0, but if the Zeldovich number is so large that it even can overcompass this uh, and overcome this uh, tau, then essentially this whole thing becomes becomes essentially 0 and that is uh, purely because of the fact that your this is an exponential in, uh, in the it is exponential in minus Zeldovich number. So, then this whole thing becomes 1. So, we will consider that the problem is posed such a way that this whole thing goes to goes to 0 or it is much smaller than uh, uh, much much smaller than 1. So, then this becomes 2 times Lewis number times d s is so, uh, in times exponential of minus Arrhenius number by Zeldovich number. Now, this closes the problem why because if you have to remember this uh, definition of uh, of, of uh, essentially the d s e the collision the, 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 the dumb column number and that uh, contains the collision dumb column number and that contains lambda by C p times B c by f 0 square. Okay. Now, let us substitute it here. So, if you substitute this into this you immediately see the f 0 square comes in the denominator. So, we can take it on the left hand side. So, then it implies f 0 square oh, this is delta which number square 2 times Lewis number times okay now, this this is uh, this B c times exponential of minus R numbers number is essentially your W B 0 right that is a reaction rate measured at the near the bound gas temperature. Okay. So, um, so, but uh, so this equation then it becomes very very similar to the scaling uh, equation that we obtained previously, but of course, you see that there is a Zeldovich number square dependent in contrast to the previous uh, thing uh, where we obtained that um, um, where we obtained this like uh, um, there was a Zeldovich number to the power of 1 dependent. So, of course, when you do the so here actually the 2 Zeldovich number comes from 1 comes from the, the reaction rate and the other comes from the fact that y you another Zeldovich number essentially comes from the y in is es essentially uh, is proportional to 1 by Zeldovich number. So, of course, when you did the scaling analysis you did not consider that right. So, that is where this uh, comes from. So, that is where this analysis if you see is much more revealing and this gives a very nice expression of and shows you what this thing depends on what the f 0 depend on essentially. But this basic nature of the fact that f 0 is essentially a geometric mean of your lambda by C p and the reaction rate uh, that is uh, that is still maintained here. And so, it is indeed uh, that uh, that uh, that inside was indeed correct, but this is the complete expression. So, as you say know that uh, f, uh, f 0 is essentially rho u times uh, rho u times uh, S l u that is uh, S l um, S l 0 or S l u uh, that is the flame speed on the burn side. So, this essentially gives you the explicit expression for the flame speed okay, and which can which you have derived. Uh, so, you I, I urge you to go through this derivation once more um, and be familiar with the detailed advances of it. So, essentially what you have done uh, here if you summarize 
If we consider the, the frank Kamenetsky analysis, we have essentially separated the analyze, we have separately analyzed the preheat and the reaction zone and we have neglected the reaction in the form, reaction in the former zone that is in the preheat zone and the convection in the latter and then we have matched the solution. So, preheat zone analysis was this that we consider the W to be equal to 0 and uh, this uh, we integrated once and we found this and uh, mm, in the because T plus is and in the, uh, in the equilibrium zone of course, your uh, downstream equilibrium zone that this is uh, t, t, d, t, t, d, d, x tilde is equal to 0. Mm, of course, then we did the reaction zone analysis where essentially we substituted the y in to be this T p 0 minus T in and then we integrated in this form and then uh, we found that uh, now that uh, the, this is equal to uh, this d t in d x squared is essentially be at, at x x at x uh, at x x is essentially equal to 1 and then we matched it and then found this uh, this expression this very nice expression of f 0 squared is equal to, uh, but this is this is what is in the slides essential for Lewis number 1, but uh, we have not done it uh, in the analysis we have considered Lewis number to be not equal to 1. So, it appears in the numerator if it is not so. Mm, so, it appears this is a beautiful relation that you get that f 0 square that is a burning flux squared is equal to essentially to 2 times lambda by C p by Zellowich number squared times B c times e to the power of minus T a tilde by T b tilde. So, uh, you see that uh, f 0 is essentially proportional to 1 by Zellowich number squared. So, one Zellowich number comes from the thin reaction zone of, the, of the, uh, that analysis and the other comes from the reduction in the reactant considered in the constitution in the uh, reaction zone and you see that this agrees well with this uh, previous scaling analysis, but you see that you did not get the um, uh, Zellowich number squared, we only get a Zellowich number 1 and also we did not get a factor of 2, uh, uh, we it was correct except for the factor of 2 by Zellowich number. So, extra Zellowich number we missed due to the concentration of uh, due to the concentration reduction in the reaction zone. Essentially, in the in the reaction zone the concentration goes from a small value y ig or small y in, but it then goes to 0. So, there is a reduction it is not constant. So, that where another Zellowich number comes from. So, uh, I will uh, stop here and then in the next class we will go into how to measure basically the flame speeds and how to basically um, find out on what parameters the and basically understand on what parameters the flame speed depend on. The flame speed is a very, very important quantity. It is basically this quantity determines whether you can have a flame stabilized in a natural gas combustor, whether you have a flame stabilized in a premix combustor in an aero gas turbine engine, whether you can have a flame stabilized in a, in a whenever there is a premix combustion happening and the flame needs to be stabilized. So, so, this determines a lot in the flame speed. Of course, uh, you can stabilize flames which are much faster than the flame speeds, but that relies on something else which will come later. But uh, the property, the inherent property of the flame that governs flame stabilization is essentially flame speed. So, you, uh, you go over this in, in details, you do the analysis on your own hands and be comfortable with it and this gives you a lot of confidence in premix combustion. So, thank you very much and see you in next class.